welcome back to my channel so today i again i have come with uh, one ppt like print uh, print uh, about printed circuit board design guide design guidelines so uh, i have made some 10 slides for that and uh, uh, all are important actually you should know these and all questions they will ask for interview also when you are going for interview these things you should know okay so my main purpose is for uh, uh, you all to provide some points and some for interview you should clear the interview for that okay so let's start uh, first is the length of traces carrying high speed digital signals or clock should be minimized means in simple word the length of the high speed digital signal or clock should be uh, very uh, minimum okay so high speed digital uh, high speed digital signals and clocks are often the strongest noise source the longer these traces are the more opportunities there will be to couple energy away from these traces remember also that loop area is generally more important than trace length make sure that there is a good high frequency current return path very near each other okay so my next slide is printed circuit uh, board second and uh, design guidelines second uh, uh, point is the length of traces attached directly to connectors like input output traces should be minimized so this input output trace should also be minimized traces attached directly to connectors are likely path for energy to be covered on or off the board and uh, third one is the signals with high frequency content should not be rooted beneath component used for board input output okay traces rooted under a component can capacitively or inductively couple energy to that component all connectors should be located on on one edge or one corner of a board connectors represent the most efficient antenna parts in most design locating them on the same edge of the board makes it much easier to control the common mode voltage that may drive one connector relative to another no high speed circuit uh, circuitry should be located between input output connectors so uh, even if two connectors are on the same edge of the board high speed circuitry located between them can induce enough common mode voltage to drive one connector relative to the another resulting in significant radiation emission so this is the reason why we should not uh, uh, place uh, high speed circuitry in, uh, uh, between input output connectors Critical signals or clock traces should be varied between power and ground planes. Routing a trace on layer between two solid planes does not ex does an excellent job of containing the fields from these traces and prevents unwanted coupling. Critical. Uh, uh, this one is done. Differential signal traces pairs should be routed together and maintain the same distance from any solid plane. Differential signals are less sus uh, susceptible to noise and less likely to generate radiated emission if they are balanced. That is, they have the same length and maintain the same impedance relative to other conductors. All power, example voltage, plane uh, that are referenced to the same power return like ground plane should be rooted on the same layer. Okay, If for example a board implies 3 voltages 3.3 volt 3.3 analog and 1 volt then it is generally desirable to minimize the high frequency coupling between these planes putting the voltage plane on the same layer will ensure that there is no overlap it will also help to promote an efficient layout since the active devices are unlikely to require two different voltages at any one position of the board The separation between any two power planes on a given layer should be at least 3 mm. If two planes get too close to each other on the same layer, significant high frequency coupling may occur. Under adverse condition, arcing or shorts may also be a problem if the planes are too closely spaced. On a board with power and ground planes, no traces should be used to connect to power or ground. Connection should be made using a wire adjacent to the power or ground pad of the component. Traces on a connections to a plane located on a different layer take up space and add inductance to the connections. If high frequency impedance is an issue, this inductance can significantly degrade the performance of the connection. Okay. 
there should be no gaps or slots in the ground plane if usual it's usually best to have a solid ground plane and a layer devoted to this plane any additional power or signal return uh, current return that must be dc isolated from the ground plane should be rooted on layer other than the other uh, layers devoted to the ground plane okay so these are the uh, points uh, uh, related to pre, uh, pcb design uh, guidelines so hope uh, this video will be helpful for you all uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll come with another video if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for watching